Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 2nd of 2020. Well, it is titled Jupiter and the moons. So what do we see here? Well, off to the lower left, we do see our own moon, uh, as it's seen here from the Earth. And we can see the lighter colored highlands and the darker maria that make up the surface of the moon. However, this is not the only moon in the image. And in fact, if you look to the upper right, you see another object there. The larger object to the upper right is the planet Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, but of course looks smaller because it is so far away. But will you note us along it are four dots and those are the four Galilean satellites as seen by Galileo back in the 1600s. So when Galileo first turned his small telescope to the sky, one of the things he looked at was Jupiter. And he did note that there were four stars that seemed to be around it. And as he watched it over the weeks and months, he was able to track out their orbits and find out that they were orbiting Jupiter. And this is important because it was the first uh, evidence that we had of something that orbited an object that was not either the Earth or the Sun. And you have to remember that back in the 1600s, it was still debated as to which system was correct, whether it was the geocentric system with the Earth at the center, or the heliocentric system with the Sun at the center. And this was a piece of evidence in favor of the heliocentric system because it showed that not everything had to orbit the Earth. So here we can see those we can also see the planet Jupiter as well. Now Jupiter is currently being explored by the Juno spacecraft which is orbiting around Jupiter and exploring it in great detail for us. And you can also see Jupiter yourself out in the evening right now if you take a look out into the sky, uh, Jupiter and Saturn are both visible very close together in the sky. So a chance to be able to see both of the large planets at once. And actually they're getting closer and closer together. So as they move, they are getting closer Jupiter moving a little bit faster is catching up to Saturn, and will pass very close to it in December. In fact, on December the 21st, it will pass very close. How close about a 10th of a degree away. And how big is that? Well, our moon is about a half a degree in size. So it'll be about one fifth the diameter of the full moon. And that's how close these two will be. So a chance to see them very close on the evening of the 21st of December, although you're going to have to look right after sunset off to the west to be able to see them before they set. So a chance to be able to take a look at these two planets uh, close together. And I'm sure we'll have some nice images of that as we get closer to December. So that was our picture of the day for September the 2nd of 2020. It was titled Jupiter and the moons. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.